We spoke. I spoke with you earlier. This is John yes. Tenuto. Where the, you got my name right. That's that's Thank you. that's incredible. I try. Most people want. <laughs> it's called. It's called. Good research and keeping everything right. In front oh, you of did. You researched me. You check <laughs> yeah. it out. So well, what, I didn't research you. That. What do you know about me? So we'll give you your social security number. I'm kidding. No, <laughs> I didn't even know that when I'm so yeah. old. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're like, hey, I'm gonna have to like, learn that. Tell thing. me, I'm gonna yeah. need that. <laughs> I might need it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. actually, tell us who you are, what you do, what you're about, and why you're at Fetzy. Oh, why am I here? Um, well, I'm a motivational speaker. It's why I'm here. Yeah. And um, and I drove, I drove, I didn't, did I drive by? I walked by. I can, you walked by, yeah. <laughs> I you by. may have drove, I think you drove by. Weren't you on the bike? I think you were on the bike. Are you picking me up okay? Yeah. You yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Good. No. yeah, you're good. The All right, yeah. Everything is good. So you did, you, uh, anyway, the question was, why am I here? I'm a motivational speaker. I do a thing called Focus Point. And um, I get up there and I just get people motivated. Yeah. So um, that's kind of what I do. And I travel over. So, and it's good to be here. Awesome. Next question. So I gotta get home. I'm uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so um, talk about motivation. Yeah, really. Yeah. When um, uh, what got you into this? What 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 what, what was your first job? But, before you became a motivational speaker. What what got you into realizing I've got a word, something to share with people? How far and back in the way? I hated my father. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I didn't. That'll do it. I didn't Motivate my, to get out of the I house. I didn't my dad. Actually, I thought it's kind of true. I started as a musician first. Good. Yeah. I started playing in clubs at Clearwater. And um, I did work for my father. I worked for the family business. And we didn't get along very well. And that was a motivator for me to, you know, get better at what I did and get my own my own career going. Yeah. But I kind of sidetracked on you. But what got me in motivational stuff is like, when I was in college in California, I, I used to listen to Tony Robbins a lot. He's a, I'm a big, big mm -hmm. fan of Tony Robbins. And I just, I got his tapes and the whole nine yards and I grew really into it. And I started volunteering my time doing motivational classes and workshops. And it it's something that gives you more fulfillment than it than it would if you're entertaining, if you're singing or if you're doing stand-up comedy, because that's just an attaboy. Yeah. But when you see somebody's life change, that's more valuable to me. Yeah. So yeah. that's one of the reasons. That's I really it. Yeah. So you know it's really interesting. Um, I'm a jazz musician. I play bass. <laughs> well, and I, I kind of figured that. Yeah. <laughs> so, he looked like a jazz musician. But you know, it's, what's, what's great is is that, you know, it's, uh, but I've been an educator for 25 years. A band director first, and then I got right. into educational technology, nice. and I've done that thing. Nice. But you know, you're right. It's, it, it's a nice move for us musicians, artists, artists. It's, it's easy for us to realize the motivational aspect of it because we motivate ourselves, right. especially early in our careers. And, sure. and that's what drew me to band for the longest time. You know, I see every kid, a third chair, clair, third part clarinet player is just as important as a first part clarinet player. Right. You know, and, and that's that's a really big deal because, you know, sure. if you have a bunch of first trumpets, it doesn't do you any good without <laughs> the second right. and third trumpet. Yeah, you're right. You know, yeah. and it's one of those things. But it, it's good to know that there are people that still get that out there, that realize that we all need motivation and what a better place than to come here with all these educators to you know let them know that you're available you know what i do yeah and I, I do a whole workshop on motion um that everything is related to motion so if i if i hold my hand up i'll say it's my hand moving and they'll go no mm -hmm. look at my hand closer look look beneath my hand what what do you see yeah all everything so if my hand's moving that everything's moving Right. The whole universe is moving. Yeah. And as long as we are in motion, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, you can't fail. Right. It's impossible to fail. So if you're weak in any one of those one of those branches of those three I talked about, just look at it. Well, I gotta get myself healthier, I gotta get myself more educated, or more focused, the more more um, focused on what I believe, my belief system. Yeah. And then you'll you'll be more harmonious in what you do. Yeah. 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 So how did you spend your day here at Betsy? Um, I did two workshops. I did one over here for uh, got the name of it now but uh, I just kind of bring me in and do my thing yeah but yeah and I'm, I just they just opened the um, exhibits exhibits yeah. at 1 or one thirty, so that was fun wow yeah. did you go uh, not yet we, we actually finished at 4 and then we take that last two hours to take our field recorder and right. we make a trip through and interview several of the booth guys and, oh nice and let them have their opportunity to you know share their their, their fancy Fantastic. experience Fantastic. yeah yeah so it's a what we do is a lot of fun yeah yeah i have a book coming out as well awesome tell awesome. us about it yeah tell the book it. is called understanding a life empowerment it's taken me eight years to write it because i'm i originally was not an author but now i will be yeah. <laughs> uh, which is exciting. It's being edited right now with my editor. And once that gets done, it's going to be out there. And they can go to my website, johntenuto.com, or go to my Facebook, johntenuto.com, or cool. commonpoint.com. Cool. You on Twitter? Uh, you know, I'm not really good at it because I'm a horrible speller. Yeah. <laughs> 
well, then you'd be perfect at it. That's, I, 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 that's how Twitter works. I, 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 that, that's a great segue from writing a book to being a horrible exactly. spell. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. So, yeah, buy the book. I can't spell it. I can't buy it. I can't spell with the darn. You well, know? Lucky for you, we'll tweet out all this information yeah, too. That's right. To all of our. Oh, you're very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, we'll make sure that gets out there. I'll yeah. tell you what else we do is uh, we will take this pod, this interview, and we cut it up, and we'll send you a link to it at your email, so you can download it and use it anywhere you want. I would love to. I'd love to. Yeah. Also, I have something for you guys. Okay. Because um, I knew uh, we were going to do this. So I, I thought you'd still be here. I have a CD. Oh, awesome. And uh, you were talking about music, right? So this is a CD that I did. This is music. Awesome. Oh, so not cool. only do motivation uh, as a livelihood, that's my music I've done for many, many years. Awesome. Cool. That's very cool. And here's the liner notes. Awesome. It's all original Great. material. Thank you so much. Um, cool. If you like, you know, Cat Stevens, the Eagles, yeah. that kind of stuff, you'll like that so, music. So uh, would you mind if we ever play this on our show? You can use it as much as you want. I own, oh, I own all the rights to it. So that's awesome. Knock Great. yourself yeah. out. Yeah. Don't be surprised if you see it out there on social media that we're playing it. So no, we'll I don't, sure I don't mind. Will. That's right. Yeah. Don't, be su- don't, don't be surprised if it shows up on Twitter that we're playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be able to read it. I'm, dysl- I'm dyslexic as well. <laughs> Facebook, so. <laughs> so we like to do this one thing when we finish up an interview. Sure. 45 second elevator pitch. You hop on an elevator with your hero. Tony Robbins. Right. And he says, who are you? What are you? Why do I need to know you? Why do you need to know me? 45 seconds. You, you know, you're going to ride from the first floor to the 18th floor. And that's <laughs> the only time you have to let him know who you are. It's a fast major. elevator. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First to third. If, actually, I have, I have met Tony Robbins. Awesome. But I mean, it wasn't really a long meeting. It sure. was one of, the, one of his... Um, Things that he did here in Orlando, actually. Yeah. And I, I got to shake his hand. I mean, he's very, he's a big guy. Mm-hmm. Um, but if I was in the elevator with Tony Robbins, um, I would say to him, the most valuable thing that I've learned that you cannot, he, he does this, and it, he, he doesn't say it outright, but a lot of motivation people say they could change your life, but you can't. Okay, I can't change your life. Only you can change your life. Right. Okay, and that's that's my takeaway from Tony Robbins. He makes sure that he doesn't preach or become something that's that he's not. Mm-hmm. And I really admire that because there's a lot of guys that do that. Yeah. There's like no, no, that's not true. You, you've got you got to dig in yourself. And then the better you know yourself, the more, more you'll be able to change your life. Right. 